Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am starting my lipstick collection video and following my eyeshadow collection videos, I feel like I sat down with myself and went, hmm, how do I make this even harder? <laughs> so I have decided that I am going to swatch on my lips every single lipstick and lip gloss in my collection. Today we're gonna do lipsticks. In the next video, we're gonna do lip glosses and some things that are kind of in between, I'm kind of just gonna throw in one video or the other. Um, it's probably gonna take me quite a few sittings to film this. So you're gonna notice my clothing and makeup and everything is gonna change from shot to shot. Uh, because if I tried to swatch all of my lipsticks on my mouth in one day, I think my lips would simply rub off my face but I think this is gonna be really fun. I think it's gonna be a really helpful way for me to get a better look at my collection as opposed to just kind of like swatching them on the back of my hand. Um, it doesn't really tell me anything about how it's gonna look on me, you know, and whether I like how that color looks on myself. So I also hope it will be helpful for you if you're interested in any of these lipsticks or lip glosses and you can kind of get a better understanding of what it looks like on somebody who looks like me anyway, if that's helpful for you, so. Without any further rambling, I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna get right into me swatching every single lipstick in my collection on my face. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so I wiped off the lip mask I was wearing in a desperate attempt to inject some last minute moisture into my lips before I start this. So I just grabbed the first organizer out of my bathroom. This is all of my MAC lipsticks and then one straggling Bite Beauty lipstick. So I'm actually gonna start with that one just since it's kind of the odd one out. I know you can't get these anymore anyway, so this is really for my purposes. This is one of the Amuse Bouche liquefied lips in the shade Whip. Uh, this isn't really a liquid lipstick. It's more of like a really, really pigmented gloss, but I love this shade. It goes with everything. So this is what this one looks like. It's a really pretty nude color. It goes with like every look. It's a really nice formula, super, super comfortable on the lips, so. I really enjoy this one. So next I'm gonna get into my MAC lipsticks. I have these organized in alphabetical order because I have to. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with this first one. This is the shade Blankety. It's this gorgeous pale pinky nude. So you can see it's a pretty light pink shade, but I enjoy pairing this one with a little bit of a darker lip liner, just to kind of lighten it up in the center. It makes a really pretty ombre look. So, so yeah, that's the shade Blankety. Next we have, I think, my favorite MAC lipstick shade that I've ever had. This is the shade Creme in Your Coffee. It's so gorgeous. It's this amazing reddy pinky brown. Just look how beautiful that color is. Ugh, I love this color. I wanna wear this color every single day. And I love that it's one of the shiny finishes. Beautiful. So this is Creme in Your Coffee. Next we have kind of a more fun shade, kind of a classic MAC shade. This is Diva. And if you know, you know, it's one of those really rich, delicious, dark reds. My application on this one is gonna be absolutely horrible, so apologies. So like I said, the application is just absolutely horrible, but this is the shade. I really, really like this shade. I don't wear it often. I'm not the kind of girl who like wears dark red lipsticks out just like on an everyday basis, but for certain events, absolutely beautiful, especially like in the winter time around Christmas. Mm, I love pulling this one out. So again, the shade Diva, a matte classic. So next we have the shade Fresh Brew. This is a little bit more of a sheer shade and it's a really interesting color. It's this sort of neutral light brown. So you can see that's the shade there. I think it's a really gorgeous shade. Again, this is one that I tend to pair with a lip liner and I think it's just great. I don't pay full price for these, by the way. I've gotten every MAC lipstick I've ever owned at TJ Maxx, so keep that in mind. But yes, this is Fresh Brew. Next, this is another one of my favorites. This is the shade Honey Love. This is one of the matte formulas, and I am a sucker for a good warm-toned brownie nude. You can see it's just a touch peachier than my natural lip color, but really, really close. And again, this is one of the ones that just goes with so many different looks. It's so versatile. It's so easy to reapply because it's hard to mess up, you know? So yes, shade Honey Love. 
Next, I have the shade Mare, which is another kind of MAC classic. It's more of like a cool toned pinky color. You know, this isn't a color I tend to go for all that often, the more blue toned pinks. But as I look at this, I'm kind of wondering why. I really like how it looks with this look I have on right now. Maybe I should pull for my cool tone pinks more. I don't know. What do you think? I think it looks nice. Yes, the shade Mare. We're starting to feel the burn already. <laughs> Pardon my disgustingly red lips. That's going to happen a lot. <laughs> Next, we have the shade Mocha, which is another one of my favorites because, again, it's one of these delicious peachy warm browns. This is similar to Honey Love, just darker. So, yes, just a super pretty, almost orangey brown. Love this one when I want an easy nude, but I want to amp it up a little bit. So, that is Mocha. Next, we have one of the Powder Kiss lipsticks. This is in the shade Mull It Over. It's a really comfy matte formula, but it's a lot sheerer than it looks on the bullet. So again, kind of a peachy pink color. It's a really interesting formula. It's very thin. It feels like nothing on the lips, honestly. I wish I could find more of this formula because I really do like it. So that is Mull It Over. So next we have the shade Pretty Boy. I lied to you. I got this one in a boxy charm. <laughs> so not all from TJ Maxx. This looks a lot like crazy and brighter than it looks on the lips. It's one of the cream sheen formulas, so it's a lot sheerer. So it definitely still packs a punch, but it's not like insane bright pink. It's a really fun summer shade. And again, the cream sheen formula is super, super comfortable. So that is Pretty Boy. Next, we have possibly the MAC classic shade, Ruby Woo. It is your traditional blue tone red. I wore this at Christmas last year. I absolutely love this shade. The pigment of this on just one swipe is absolutely unreal. Again, not my best application, but that is the shade Ruby Woo. I feel like it's so timeless. It really is perfect in the winter for like any kind of holiday stuff because it is it's that classic red, you know? Next we have the shade Runway Hit, which is a retro matte formula, just kind of a nude pink. So yes, a nude pink with just a touch of peachiness in there, a really easy to wear shade. The matte formulas from MAC last forever, so the staying power on this one is excellent. So yeah, that is the shade Runway Hit. This is the shade C Sheer. It is one of the luster lipsticks, which are even more sheer than the cream sheen lipsticks. So again, looks like a pretty dark pink color, but on the lips it's much sheerer. The luster lipsticks are almost the texture of a balm. They're really, really smooth, really thin, and I love this color. So that is the shade C Sheer. Next we have kind of a fun one that I found at a Marshalls like ages ago. This is the shade Spanish Fly. Check this out. It's a brown with like a green duochrome flip. I think it's so cool. See, this is kind of disappointing to say because I do think it's really cool, but I might get rid of this one. It's not the green. Honestly, I don't even feel like the green really comes through once it's on the lips. It does a little bit, but only in certain lighting. It just doesn't apply evenly. You can see it's so patchy. I might hang on to it though and try applying it when my lips aren't as like messed up as they are from trying on a bunch of lipsticks in one sitting. So this one's gonna be like a maybe, but you can see the green doesn't really show up. I just think it's a neat shade. So that's Spanish Fly. Next, we have the other classic MAC shade. This is Velvet Teddy. This is one of my favorites just because it's like my perfect pinky nude. I, I love this. I mean, isn't that just a shade that you can wear with almost anything? It's so beautiful. I love the shade. This one got hype for a reason. So that is Velvet Teddy. And finally, for my MAC lipsticks, we have the shade Whirl. This is such a gorgeous, like, chocolatey brown shade. I love this one. Isn't that beautiful? It's such like a 90s grunge color. I love that. So that's the shade Whirl, and those are all of my MAC lipsticks. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the next section. I've decided I'm kind of gonna separate these by brand until I get to ones that are just like one-offs. So another one that I have a pretty decent sized collection of is from ColourPop. 
not surprising. <laughs> if you know anything about my makeup collection, I am a bit of a ColourPop fanatic. So let's start with the Lippy Sticks formula. I have quite a few of these. In no particular order, I'm just going to go ahead and grab them. So we'll start with the shade Grunge. This is an awesome shade. I love this color. It's this deep, it's, it's grungy, you know, it's this deep ruddy brown. Is that not just 90s grunge in a color? I absolutely love this. And the formula of the lippy sticks is gorgeous. Super smooth. They last a really long time. So that is the shade grunge. This actually goes really well with this look. <laughs> okay, these two kind of make sense to do back to back because they're kind of similar. I have the shade Bossy first. This is another one of those really classic true reds. These are really forgiving in terms of application. I mean, I'm doing this without being up close and in a mirror and no lip liner and it looks pretty good. So that's the shade Bossy, one of the more classic true like pinup reds. And then I have a red that I actually kind of prefer. This is the shade Frenchie. It's a little bit more of like a vibrant cherry red. I, you'll see the difference. So you can kind of see that this one is just more punchy. This is like, if bossy is a winter red, Frenchie is a summer red. Does that make sense? So that is the shade Frenchie. Next I have the shade Oh Snap, which is a really nice one. This is like a pinky nude. This one's like extra smooth and hydrating. So that's the shade. Not too far off my natural lip color. It's just a little bit more cool, I think. I really like this one. It goes with so many different looks and lip liners. So that is Oh Snap. This one is the shade Cookie, another really easy to wear shade. It's kind of this more peachy brownie nude. So yeah, like I said, just more of a peachy tone, but still really easy to wear. So that is Cookie. This is kind of a fun one. This is the shade Songbird. It is this bright like berry pink. <laughs> Not a color that I typically go for, but I think it's really pretty. So that's the shade Songbird. And finally for the lippy sticks, we have my favorite shade, which is Brink. It's this absolutely gorgeous sort of mid-toned rosy brown. I love this one. I wear it all the time. Absolutely obsessed with this shade. I mean, it's just perfect. What can I say? So that's my favorite one, the shade Brink. So next I have a few of ColourPop's liquid lipsticks. The first one is an ultra blotted formula. I don't love this formula or this color, but as you can see, it is from the Sailor Moon collection. And that is the entire reason that I have it. This is the shade Bunhead. And it, it's a cute color. It's just not one that I typically go for on myself. It's like one of those cool tone pinks and I don't love how they look on me. So this is the ultra blotted lip in the shade Bunhead. It's okay, like it's just not one that I reach for all that often and it kind of smells off also. Probably shouldn't be putting this on my mouth, but whatever, it's for the content. Um, <laughs> Next for the liquid lipsticks, I have one in the ultra satin formula. This one's called Dreamy. It's actually from the collection with Kathleen Lights, the Dream Street collection. So this one's also like super old. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the smell of this one. <laughs> Let's try it on and see. I just love this color. <laughs> it's so beautiful. This like orangey, rusty color. And I like the formula too. Uh, does it smell too off to keep? I think it's fine. I'm gonna tell myself it's fine and keep it because I love the color and I love Kathleen Lights. So that's dreamy. This is so embarrassing. This one might actually be older than both of those. This is another ultra satin. I think, I can't tell, the writing rubbed off. Might be an ultra matte, but I think it's an ultra satin. In the shade frickin' frack. Good lord, this is old. Oh, I don't know about that one. It's like a similar, oh my god, look at the wand. Am I gonna put this on my mouth or just get rid of it? I'm gonna swatch this on the back of my hand. This is the one that you get a hand swatch because I just, the smell didn't really do it, but the wand is like really dark. I don't know. Anyway, this is, this is the shade frickin' frack. It's very pretty. Like it a lot, um, but I am gonna toss this one. So we have a couple now that are a little less old. This is the oldest of the bullet lipsticks I have from them. This is in the shade Foolish. It's one of the Luxe lipsticks. I adore this shade. 
I mean, this is my dream fall lipstick. I love wearing this one all fall. So that is the shade Foolish in the Luxe line. This one is also a Luxe lipstick, but it's from the Star Wars collection. This is in the shade Dark Lord. Look at the packaging, how cute. It's this like peachy nude matte lipstick coat. Look at the bullet. How fun. I really liked this color. The other two from this collection were reds and I don't wear red all that often. So I went ahead and got this one. And you can see it's just a really easy to wear peachy nude color. So that's Dark Lord from the Star Wars collection. And then the last one I have from ColourPop is newer to me. Not new new, but newer. This is one of the glowing lips and mine is in the shade La Cienega. I don't speak Spanish very well. Live in Texas, and so I don't, whatever. Just a really easy to wear pinky nude color. This formula is so comfortable. I love how shiny it is. It feels like a lip balm, honestly. Gorgeous. I kind of want to pick up more of these. That is the glowing lip in La Cienega. And that's the end of ColourPop, so we will move into the next set. So I'll try to go through these ones quickly. I have this little set of like mini ones from Bite Beauty, which obviously you can't really get anymore. So I'll go through these quickly. This is more for my own benefit to see which ones I want and if I want to declutter any. So in no particular order, this is the shade Date. So this is a beautiful shade. I really like this shade, which makes this even sadder. This feels really thick and like different and it smells very crayon-y, so I think this one's actually kind of got to go. I'm sad because I really like this color, but is it that different from some of the other colors I have? Not really. So, unfortunately, date has to go. Next, I have the shade Saki, which is a very pretty, like, cool-toned, mauve color. This kind of cool-toned pink I can usually get behind. It's the bubblegum ones that kind of go iffy on me. This one doesn't smell crayon-y, so that's good. <laughs> so this one still applies really nicely doesn't smell off. And I don't know, I think the color is unique. I'm gonna hang on to this one. This is the shade Saki. This one is beautiful. This is the shade Tannin. It's this gorgeous, really deep, rich red. Smells okay. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful color. I love the finish. So I'm probably gonna hang on to the shade Tannin because this one's not expired at all. This is the shade Nori. I really like this one as well. It's this dark brown kind of grungy color. Really, really pretty. Oh no. Oh, kind of smells off. Let me see how it applies. So as beautiful as this color is, this one's even more off than Date. Um, it was actually hard to apply because it's so thick and like sticky. I really want to get this off my lips. So unfortunately the shade Nori also has to go. <laughs> Last but not least, this one is my favorite. I will actually be devastated if this one has expired. This is the shade Chai. I love this one. It doesn't smell bad. Fingers crossed, folks. Not even slightly expired. That applied as beautifully and smooth as the day that I got it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, easy to wear color. Chai goes nowhere. So that's it for my Bite Beauty ones. Let's go ahead and move to the next set. So next I'm gonna go ahead and go through some of my lipsticks from Maybelline. I have a few different formulas. I'll start with the bullet ones. So this is one of the, what are these called? The Color Sensational Shine lipsticks. This one's in the shade Spicy Mauve. I think it's super pretty. It's a super comfortable formula, very shiny. And I don't actually have a lot of things in this exact color. So this one, Spicy Mauve. Next, I have a couple of shades in the matte formula in the bullet lipsticks. Both of these purchases were inspired by Hannah Louise Poston. Um, the first one is the shade Raw Chocolate. So that's the shade Raw Chocolate, really pretty, warm, like true brown. I really love the Maybelline matte formula. It's very, very light, feels almost moussey on the lips, really comfy to wear, not drying at all. So that's the shade Raw Chocolate. And then of course I have the quintessential Hannah Louise Poston shade. This is Gone Grage, which sadly you cannot get anymore, but you can check out Hannah's channel. She is currently on the hunt for a shade match for Gone Grage. I really think it's just so nuanced. Grage is a great name for it, but it even has like a hint of lavender. It looks crazy with this eye look, but try to imagine it in isolation. <laughs> My lips are feeling the burn. 
Next, I have one of these Superstay Ink Crayons in the shade Lead the Way. This is a really, really nice formula too. These stay on incredibly well for something that's not a liquid lipstick. They're not kidding about the Superstay thing. I love the Superstay line. You'll see a few of the liquid lipsticks in a second, but these stay on amazing. So this is just a really pretty muted pink shade. Really easy to wear, goes with a ton of different looks. And I love to just throw this one in my purse and have it on hand because it lasts forever and it's super easy to apply. So that is the Superstay Crayon in Lead the Way. I wanna get more shades of this as well just because the formula is really, really nice. I wanna get some bolder colors because it stays on so well. Let me know if you have any favorites of this formula. And finally for Maybelline, like I was kind of alluding to, I have three of the Superstay Matte Ink lipsticks. I love these. This is probably my favorite liquid lipstick formula because nothing stays on like these do. Absolutely nothing stays on like these do and it's still so comfortable. They're a little bit sticky while they're drying down, which I don't love, but once they do dry down, they do not move. So like I said, I have three shades. This is the first one. This is shade 60 Poet. It's just really pretty light pinky nude. This is almost a My Lips But Better color. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So if I ever need a good nude to last me all day long, this is a perfect one. So that's the shade Poet. Have to rub these off before they dry down or they'll never come off. <laughs> this is the shade 65 Seductress. I think this one's my favorite. There's just something really unique about it. It's mid-tone, it's kind of rosy, kind of grayy. It's just look. Isn't that just kind of a nuanced color to you? And it goes with everything. It goes with every look. This is one of my more universal lipsticks. So that is the shade Seductress. And finally, I have the shade that actually got me into the Superstay Matte Ink line. I was looking for a red that was foolproof, that would last me all night. And I wanted a true red because I have kind of a corally red liquid lipstick from Dose of Colors, which is beautiful, but it's not a true, true red. So I found this one and this hooked me. This is the shade 118 Dancer. How gorgeous is that? It's almost more of like an orangey red. I'm so sorry for the atrocious application. I love this on my skin tone. I love wearing this to events and it stays on all night long. So that is the shade Dancer. And those are all of my Maybelline lipsticks. So next we're gonna go ahead and move into my collection of Sephora lipsticks. So like lipsticks from the actual brand, the Sephora collection. So I'll go ahead and start with the little Lip Stories lipsticks. This first one I bought just because I think it's the most gorgeous shade of red. It has these little candy apples, super cute. And it's called Take a Bite, shade number 35. I don't know if this is available anymore. I hope it is. So that's the shade Take a Bite. So vibrant pink that it looks red. <laughs> and I think it's a gorgeous shade. If this isn't available anymore and you like this color, that ColourPop Frenchie color is very similar. So these other three, I acknowledge that this is complete clown behavior, but they had the Zodiac ones on sale. So I bought my big three. <laughs> I know, I know, this is so stupid. Okay, but I did it, it's too late now. So my sun sign is Scorpio. So we'll start with that one. <laughs> I never ever wear this. They, look, they were on sale, okay. Okay, but that's a really dope color. <laughs> I gotta look badass. That's the Scorpio shade. I don't know, I feel like I'm not brave enough. Maybe I should be. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think of the Scorpio. <laughs> Next we have my moon sign, which is Gemini. Also kind of a crazy shade. It is a hot coral pink. This one's kind of fun for the summer though, yeah? I'm so serious. It was such clown behavior of me to buy these, but I couldn't resist, okay? So that's Gemini. And then finally, we have the one for my rising sign, which actually I can kind of see myself wearing. This is the Capricorn shade. Um, and it's just this really true, really rich chocolate brown. And I know that's kind of a weird color, but I dig it. Feel free to excuse the atrocity that is this application, but isn't that an interesting color? I actually think it's really pretty. I need to find an excuse to wear this one out. So that's the Capricorn shade. I think these are still available. And I think they're still on sale as well. Don't be mad if they're not. 
So finally for the Sephora collection, I have two of the cream lip stains. I'll start with this one. It's more of like a mauve pink color. This is number 13. It's like my lips, but a little bit cooler. It's a beautiful shade, really easy to wear for a pink, you know? So that's the shade 13. By the way, the lasting power on these is absurd up there with like the Maybelline liquid lipsticks, except this formula is much thinner and they have every shade you can imagine. And they're actually pretty close to the same price, I think. I think these are $15, but during the Sephora sale, the, the entire Sephora collection is 30% off, so do with that what you will. This one is shade 72, and it's just this cool tone nude. I love this. Eat it up, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Look at that, it's like, it's like taupe. It's like casual grunge, I love this. I used to have a ColourPop lipstick that was really similar to this shade, and I got complimented on it constantly, so. This is my new next best thing, shade 72. So next I have a decent set of lipsticks from Revlon, a few different formulas. So I'll start with this one. This is one of the Colorstay Satin Inks. I have the shade Your Go-To. These are interesting. They're kind of a stain, but they don't dry down all the way. They're like mostly transfer proof and they still kind of have a glossy finish. I feel like this is what the ColourPop glossy lip stains were trying to do and like failed miserably. This is the shade, your go-to. I will say, in the tube, it appears to be a much more cool-toned, nudie color than it pulls on the lips. It pulls more pink. Lip stains like to pull more pink, so if you're getting one of these, do keep in mind, it's probably gonna look more pink than it appears. This one, because it is so cool-toned and brown, it turning a little bit more pink ends up being a great shade anyway. But, just something to note. I do like the formula though, it's super, super comfortable. Next I have one of the, what are these called? They're called the Super Lustrous line, but they're matte. Anyway, um, this is the shade Shameless, and I saw on TikTok, I think, that this is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium, and it is gorgeous. Look at the shade. Look at that gorgeous shade. And to be real with you, I like the formula of this better than the Charlotte Tilbury matte formula. That is the Super Lustrous Matte in the shade Shameless. And then I have a few of these. This is a formula that I really love. This is the Super Lustrous Shine lipsticks. Um, I have a few different shades. This one is going viral right now. This is the shade 8 Rum Raisin. You can kind of see why everybody's obsessed with this right now. Look how juicy and shiny it makes my lips look. So pretty. Anyway, that's the shade Rum Raisin. This one is the shade 14 Glaring Coral, more of a fun color. Oh my god, my bullet looks atrocious. You cannot make this shit up. I'm gonna try that again. Okay, so, this is a lovely shade and a lovely formula, but every time I touch it to my lips, I feel like half of the bullet falls off. You saw it the first time, but like it kept happening. So I, I don't know what happened to this one, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it just because I it's gonna be a nightmare to apply every time. So, okay. <laughs> Lastly, and this, this is my favorite of the shades, or I don't know, Rum Raisin was really beautiful. Anyway, this is my favorite as far as I'm aware. And if it does that same thing, I'm gonna be really sad. This is the shade 20 Nude Illuminator. So pretty, just that classic pinky nude. I don't know, man, Rum Raisin might be giving this a run for its money. So that is Nude Illuminator. So let's do some rapid fire from the drugstore. I'll start with this one from L'Oreal. I have a few of this formula because it's gorgeous. This is the Colory Shine formula. This first one is Glossy Fawn, shade 900. They're very sheer. They feel very lip balmy. They just add like a hint of color. These are perfect with lip liner. So that one's Glossy Fawn. Next I have, this one might be my favorite. This is shade 902, which is Dazzling Doe. Cool tone, grazy moment, I love it. See, it's just a tint, but it's pretty. And with lip liner, oh my God, like a cool toned lip liner, like ColourPop, Cool BFF or Ashton. It's so good. The topiest taupe lip ever. So that's Dazzling Doe. This I know is a really popular shade. This is 904 Varnished Rosewood. It's also very, very beautiful. 
So this one's also more pigmented than some of the other ones. It kind of stands on its own. It's a gorgeous mauve. So that's varnished rosewood. Matches my shirt. <laughs> and finally, for the Color Reese Shine ones, this one is Shining Peach. It's very light. So I'm going to apply it, but with the knowledge that I only use this sparingly with lip liner just to add like shine and some lightness in the center, okay? I don't wear it like this. I don't look crazy. Yeah, so by itself, not really for me. I don't really do the whole early 2000s concealer lips thing, but with lip liner, just like in the center, it makes a very beautiful look. So shining peach, tread with caution. <laughs> so those are my L'Oreal ones. And then I have a few from Flower Beauty. First, I have this one in the Petal Pout formula. It is sort of the classic shade from that line, 35 Spiced Petal. Supposedly a dupe for Pillow Talk. I think it's close, not exact, but Pillow Talk only comes in the matte formula these days, and I don't really like the matte formula that much, so this is pretty close in a cream formula. I feel like it does give what Pillow Talk is going for. So yes, that is Spiced Petal from Flower Beauty. Very good formula, very comfy. This one is also from the Petal Pout line. This one is a matte formula though. It's in the shade Autumn Rose. I just really think this shade is super interesting and gorgeous. So that's Autumn Rose. It's just this deepened rosy pink color, but it's toned down a little, you know? It's not bright pink, I don't know. I think it's really interesting. It also matches my shirt. <laughs> And then lastly from Flower Beauty, and honestly, this might be my favorite of the three. Not enough people are talking about this formula. I talked about it in my underrated makeup video because it's, it's, it is. This is one of the perfect pout lipsticks, different from the Petal Pout. Perfect pout, and this one's in the shade Blush Rose. It's much more smooth and like hydrating, feels kind of balmy. Just look, it's shiny. So that's what makes the perfect pout ones different from Petal Pout. Petal Pout is more of kind of the traditional cream and matte lipstick formulas. This one is a true like hydrating, shiny, not, it's not sheer, but it's more sheer than the Petal Pout formula. So that is Blush Rose in the Perfect Pout formula. So let's break up the drugstore with something a little bougie. Okay, these are some more like high-end luxurious brands. Let's talk Miss Charlotte. <laughs> oh, Miss Charlotte. I have, a, I have several opinions on Miss Charlotte. Um, this is the shade, can I say, can I say bitch? Bitch perfect. I don't know. I'm gonna swear. Sorry. It's in the, the kissing formula. So like the satin, more hydrating formula. So that is the shade. Gorgeous peachy pink. Really good for every day, especially in like the spring and summer. So here's my thoughts on Charlotte. The kissing formula, this one, the more satin one, really, really beautiful. Very high end, very luxe. Worth 30 something dollars for a single lipstick? Probably not, but... It is beautiful. So, you know, if if you think that like a high quality lipstick formula is worth that much, then your prerogative. I think you can get something this good at the drugstore. So that's bitch perfect. So this one's also in the kissing formula. It's in the shade Blushing Dream, a little bit more pinky rosy. So that's the shade Blushing Dream, another really beautiful, easy to wear shade, especially like I said, spring, summer. So I like this formula. If you're looking at Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, if you know you're willing to drop that kind of change, look for this formula, okay? All of that is to say, this is the ever popular Pillow Talk. This is in the matte formula. See the shape of that bullet? That's how you can tell. It's not bad, but for the amount of money you're spending on it, it's not really good either. <laughs> Let me apply it and then I'll talk more. So yes, very cute, nudie pink shade. And the people who defend this lipstick will ride hard for this formula, and that's fine. Everybody has their opinions, here's mine. I think that the lasting power on this is crap because it's a very, very silicone-y matte formula. I, they were trying to make it smoother on the lips, and it is, it's smoother than a lot of matte lipsticks, but the problem with that is that it rubs right off. And that's, if I'm wearing a matte lipstick, I tend to prefer like balmy, shiny lipsticks, and if I'm gonna wear a matte lipstick, it's because I want it to last longer. Those, those are my thoughts on Miss Charlotte. It's not bad. You know, it's not a bad formula, but you gotta know what you're looking for. I figure while we're on the bougie lipsticks, might as well go for this one. This is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick. This is in the shade Yana. I love this shade. They smell like vanilla, but not like just any vanilla, like vanilla beans straight out of the pod. It's actually ridiculous. 
And it's another one of those cool tone browns. So that is the shade Yana. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but these are actually kind of worth it. <laughs> They're really, really good. Um, can you get something pretty comparable at the drugstore? Yeah, you totally can. But like, I think it's the smell. The smell really does it for me. <laughs> but you know, I keep talking about like, you can get really high quality matte lipsticks at the drugstore. Let me show you an example. Milani's Color Fetish Matte Lipsticks. Unmatched, honestly, in my opinion. These are my favorite matte bullet lipsticks. High-end drugstore, I don't care. This is the shade Secret. It's exactly like Pillow Talk, but the formula is better. Still creamy, still smooth, still comfy on the lips. Difference? This dries down and does not budge, which is what I want from a matte. This is the closest thing I would say is a dupe, but it's not even a dupe because it's better. So, Milani in the shade Secret. But that's not even my favorite shade from the Milani Color Fetish line because the shade Passion exists. This is just another one of those really nuanced, interesting lipstick shades. I can't get enough of this. I mean, what, what is there to say about this color? I'm obsessed with this color. I would wear this color to everything, seriously. Between that and the formula, if you see a color in this that you love, do it. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> They're incredible. But personally, I recommend Passion. So next I'm gonna get into some more like liquid lipstick collections that I have. First, I'm gonna do a few from Dose of Colors. I really love their liquid lipstick formula. It lasts a super long time and it's really comfortable. I have a few shades. This one is the shade Nude Mood, which is a really good, just like pretty neutral nude pink, I think. It leans a touch warm, but I still think it goes with most looks. They're so thin, they feel like nothing on the lips. It's really great and they're not drying. So that is the shade Nude Mood. Next, I have the shade Stone, which is one of their like classic shades. It's a very like cool toned purpley mauve. So that's the shade Stone. I think it's a really easy to wear pink. So that's that one. And then last from Dose of Colors, we have my favorite shade, which is Coral Crush. I think the shade is so cute. This is such a fun one to wear out. So how cute is that color? <laughs> I just love it. I think it's so beautiful. It's like almost red, but like if it was a neon red. <laughs> so that's the shade Coral Crush. And that's my last one from Dose of Colors. So next I have a few lipsticks from Kaja. If you're not familiar with Kaja, they have them at Sephora. They just make the cutest little, the packaging is so cute. This is one of their Heart Melter lipsticks. I have the shade three crazy for you. It like clicks up. Look, it's just a little heart. <laughs> it's adorable. So it's mostly pretty sheer and glossy, but I think it has enough pigment to still be considered a lipstick. So that is the shade Crazy For You. So I also have a couple of Kaja's bullet lipsticks. These are the Air Heart lipsticks. They are a matte formula, really comfortable and light. Air, you know, they're very moussey in formula. And they also have the cute little heart-shaped component and the heart-shaped bullet, which I think is adorable. This one is the shade Five Sprung. And they're so melty. They just melt right onto the lips and glide on. Kaja, I think, is kind of an underrated brand in general. So that's the shade Sprung. And then I also have the Airheart lipstick in the shade 4 Bay, which is a really gorgeous, like, kind of cool toned true brown. So there's that one. Really neat color. I definitely need to wear these more. I'm going to pull these out to the front of my collection. So that's the shade Bay. So moving on, I have a few lipsticks from e.l.f. You know I love e.l.f. I, I sing the praises of e.l.f. every chance I get. So these are the Seriously Satin lipsticks. These are three bucks. Yeah, and they're really good. Uh, this is the shade Creme. It is, it's very concealer lips. I, again, I only use this like as a ombre lip type of deal over a lip liner that's dark in the center, that kind of thing. So again... I'm gonna put it on, but be aware I never ever wear it like this. <laughs> yeah, see, on me, that's just giving, <laughs> it's giving concealer lips. <laughs> anyway, that's the shade Creme. I keep it around for a purpose, but this is not that. <laughs> this one, though, in the Seriously Satin formula, I can absolutely wear on its own, and I do. This is the shade Nectar. 
It's just the cutest orangey brown. Just like a peachy orange. Really, really cute. I think it's a great like summer transitioning into fall kind of color. So that's the shade Nectar. They have a couple other shades I'm interested in and like they're $3, so why not? <laughs> And then finally from e.l.f. I have one of the Sheer Slick lipsticks. This one is in the shade Golden Pear. I've had a couple other shades, but they just weren't really flattering on me. This is the only one that I feel like really looked good on my skin tone, you know? It's actually kind of similar to that Nectar shade, just in a different formula. This one's much more sheer. It's kind of glossy, but the shade is very similar. Obviously I have a type. <laughs> So that is Golden Pear in the Sheer Slick formula. Kind of narrowing down. I have a couple of things from Clinique. These are both little sample size lipsticks from them. I keep them around. I think they're cute. <laughs> this is their Clinique Pop lipstick in the shade Plum Pop. Looks very kind of bright. Well, not that bright. You know what I mean? It looks brighter in the bullet. My point is I feel like it looks like it's going to be darker and brighter than it actually is. I feel like it's more wearable than it appears. So that's the shade Plum Pop. And this, of course, is a little sample of Clinique's Black Honey, a classic. I feel like I don't love this as much as most people seem to. I don't hate it, but I, I it's not like the end all be all for me. It's pretty, just. So you can see it's a very pretty color. My problem with it is, do you see how it kind of looks patchy? Like it's so sheer, why does it look patchy? That doesn't make any sense. And I feel like it settles into your lip lines. I don't know. Like, I feel like we can do better in like balmy lipstick formulas. I mostly keep it around for the sake of comparison, comparing other things to see if they're similar to Black Honey. But yeah, I don't wear it that often because I just feel like it doesn't really flatter the lips. But anyway, that's my take on Black Honey. Next, I have a couple from NARS. I have two different formulas. This one I got in a boxy charm. It's the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Dolce Vita. This is kind of a classic. I need to sharpen it, but I should be okay. <laughs> so that is what that looks like. I think it's pretty. I think it's good. It's sheer, but kind of buildable, but it's not super buildable. Like you're never gonna get wild pigment with this. I feel like it gives you kind of like a blotted lip look, which is good for some occasions. So, and I do think the color is really, really beautiful. So that's the pencil in Dolce Vita. So then I have this one. This feels very luxurious and heavy. This is the Audacious Lipstick in the shade Catherine. And again, it's that very orangey, peachy kind of shade. So that's what Catherine looks like. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's unique. I don't have much like actual orange lipstick. This is pretty much the closest I have. Very pretty. So that is Catherine in the Audacious line. I have these two little baby ones from Marc Jacobs. The first one is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I know we can't get these anymore because Marc Jacobs is no more, but I'll show you the shades. Kind of just your classic pink. I don't know, maybe these kind of cooler tone pinks look better on me than I'm giving them credit for, because I don't hate this. So that one is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, but this one is my favorite of the two and I feel like it's gonna be obvious why. This one is Slow Burn. So you can see it is, again, kind of that taupey, muddy nude color, which I love. So <laughs> I adore this one. That's the shade Slow Burn. And then finally, before we get into my kind of random little one-off lipsticks, I have a couple from M Cosmetics. I have this little mini of the Lip Cloud in Rose Nude. I love the shade. And this formula is ridiculous. I know I said the Maybelline might've been my favorite, but I think I might've lied. This, the Maybelline is my favorite for long wear in terms of like comfort, these win. So that's the shade Rose Nude. The Lasting Power is not as good as a lot of like the drier liquid lipsticks, but because they are so comfortable and they literally just never feel dry, they feel smooth the entire time you're wearing them. These are a lot better for like a comfort liquid lipstick. That's that one. I don't think M Cosmetics knows how to make a bad product. Let me know if you've ever tried something from M Cosmetics and you didn't like it because I haven't. <laughs> and then this shade, Probably gonna see the theme. This is Morning Mocha. Just that perfect, nudie brown, delicious. Like quite literally delicious. These taste like, what do these taste like? You know those little Debbies, the little white cake things? I'm gonna put up a picture, those little white cake things. 
That's exactly what these taste like. Anyway, I love them. So that one's Morning Mocha and M Cosmetics can do no wrong. I lied. I actually have one more brand that I have a couple from. I have two from KVD Beauty. Um, this is one of the liquid lipsticks. Mine's in the shade Bow and Arrow. And again, it's not going to be a mystery how I feel about the shade. It is, in fact, a brown nude, kind of taupey. This formula is pretty good for a matte liquid lipstick as well. It's very thin, stays on, these stay on better than probably any liquid lipstick ever. Like, these never come off. Like, I need to take this off before it dries down all the way or it won't come off. So that is the Everlasting Liquid Lip, I want to say it's called. Yes, Everlasting Liquid Lip in the shade Bow and Arrow. It was on for like 30 seconds and I still had trouble getting it off. And then this one, I got it, I want to say Marshalls. This is their Epic Kiss Nourishing Lipstick in the shade Lolita. Very pretty shade, very nice formula, super smooth. So it's a little bit of a sheer, balmy formula, but you can build it up to pretty decent pigmentation. I really love the shade. Something about it is really just, I don't know, it's just beautiful. So that's the shade Lolita. I don't know if they sell these in like actual stores anymore, but there's a bunch of them in Marshalls and TJ Maxx, so. So now we're kind of getting into my one-offs where I only have one from any particular brand. So I'll start with this one. This is one of the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Lipsticks. This is in the shade Feminist. So I've tried their matte liquid lipsticks as well. Those are very much like they dry down all the way matte. These are a little bit more of a satiny finish and they're mostly transfer proof, if that makes sense. So there is that one, just a lovely peachy nude color. You can see it kind of has a little bit of that satin shine. Super pretty. It also has a little bit of like a cooling sensation. It's not like intense, but you can kind of feel as it dries down a little bit of like the coolness. Anyway, that's the Demi Matte Lipstick in the shade Feminist. Next I have this little mini from Rare Beauty. This is the Matte Lip Cream in the shade Inspire. This is another one of those reds that I just absolutely love. It's got a little bit of that orangeness to it that just makes it pop. So that's the shade Inspire. I think it's so cute. And the interesting thing about this is that it is kind of that moussey whipped texture but once it dries down it has decent staying power like it's not going to be completely budge proof because this just isn't that type of formula but i will say i've worn this out before and i mean like i didn't reapply it but when i came home it was still mostly on so it's not bad i love pretty much everything i've tried from rare beauty as well they're just they make quality stuff and for high-end makeup the price is right so if you haven't hopped on the rare beauty bandwagon i suggest it <laughs> Next I have a few little random bullet lipsticks. This I got I think in a little set from TJ Maxx at one point. I think it came with that Champagne Pop highlighter. This is the Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love in the shade Orchid. I mean, obviously you can't get it anymore, but... I think that's a really nice color. It's a much purplier mauve than I have in a lot of different cooler tone pink lipsticks. So I just think it's unique. So that's Orchid. This one I got in a boxy charm. This is the Ilia Color Block Lipstick in the shade Rosette. Really nice bullet lipstick formula. Ilia I know is very expensive and this you can feel it. The packaging is very heavy. It feels very luxurious and the formula is super smooth. So that's the Rosette. It's a pretty traditional mid-tone pink. Nothing super groundbreaking about the shade but the formula is gorgeous. So that is the Ilia Color Block. I have this one from Bare Minerals. These are so comfy. I love their new, like the Mineralist Gloss Balm. And then these are the Mineralist Lipsticks, Hydra Smoothing Lipstick. This is the shade Grace. It's just the pinky nude of my dreams, you know? It goes with every lip liner and it's perfect. I mean, it's basically my lips, but smoother, hydrated. And these taste amazing. They taste the same as glosses and they taste like, I don't know, like some kind of candy. I don't know. It's great. So absolutely beautiful. I know these were on 21 Days of Beauty last year. I, I hope they come back. They're gorgeous. We're getting down to the end here. Hang in there. This I pretty much exclusively keep for the packaging. I got this in a boxy charm as well. This is from Hank and Henry. Look at this. Yeah. Uh, this is the Satin Matte Lipstick in the shade L-O-V-E. Look, look at this packaging. Ready? We haven't even gotten to the best part yet. 
I'm such a sucker. I, I really am. I'm a sucker. But it's so cute. And But the actual part that goes on your lips doesn't really have any glitter in it. So it's just a really pretty red color. So that's the shade. It's a gorgeous red, very saturated pigment. Sorry about the horrible application. Um, Is it really any better than any other red lipstick? No, but like, it's sparkly. So This is one I kind of have for sentimental value. I don't think I'm going to put this on my lips. I never really wear this. I keep it because like my dad bought it for me years ago and it's just like, Sweet. This is one of the first like high-end lipsticks that I pined over too and so I kind of just keep it around for the memories but um, this is from the Urban Decay the Naked Heat collection. This is the shade Heat and I pined over it because it's like a shiny orangey red. I don't know. Looking back on it I would literally nowadays I would never ever buy this but I don't know it's cute. Here I'll swatch it. See it's cute. Nowadays, I don't think I'd ever really wear this, especially since it's probably expired as hell. Like, when did the Naked Heat come out? Like, 2017 or something? Yeah. Yeah, no. I would never put this on my face, but it, for the memories, you know. This is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lipstick. I have mine in the shade Annie. It's a very cute, like, peachy rose color. So that's what that one looks like. It gives kind of a blotted lip look, and I will also say it really smooths out your lip lines. Like, you will have no lip lines. So, I kind of want to try more shades of this line. But yes, that one is the shade Annie. It's very cute. This one is a Ciate London Liquid Velvet Lipstick. This one I keep around for the shade. It's like a true chocolate brown. I'm sorry, but you just can't tell me that that's not kind of badass. It's literally like chocolate brown. I think it's awesome. And once it dries down, it lasts forever. So that's the shade Dazed. And last for this video, but certainly not least, we have the Rose Ink Lip Color Creative in the shade Beams. Crayon style, pretty color. So that's what that shade looks like. It's very pretty, but I'm gonna be so real with you. This smells... I want to say rotten. Is that mean? <laughs> like, it doesn't smell like old lipstick. It literally smells like rotten. It's subtle, but it, like, like it kind of smells like sour milk. I'm going to be so real with you. I, I don't think this is expired. It's not that old. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm still not going to keep it because, like, putting this close to my nose grosses me out. It, re it really smells bad. Um, so I'm going to get rid of it. But have any of you ever tried this, like, rose ink lip crayon do they all just smell bad or do they go bad really quickly like what what's the deal there anyway that was kind of a bummer of a note to be done on <laughs> let me let me put on a lipstick that's not gonna smell like this before i end the video <laughs> okay i just popped bare minerals grace back on my lips partially to hydrate them because oh my goodness they might fall off my face i have swatched so many lipsticks on my lips oh my goodness <laughs> i'm gonna go put on a really thick lip mask and give my lips a break but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If so, please leave a like down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite lipstick formula and your favorite shade is. I would absolutely love to know. If you're new around here, if you're old around here and you haven't hit subscribe yet, I hope you will go ahead and click subscribe down below. I'd absolutely love to have you. And until the next video, bye guys.